Hello and welcome to Emma Reads Reddit. Today I'm reading from r slash ask reddit. But first, let's play r slash drunk or a kid, where I give you a real life scenario and you guess whether it was a drunk or a kid. This one was posted by Zabrik. I drew over my girlfriend's legs with permanent marker, then passed out. But what do we think? Is this a drunk or a kid? Find out at the end of the video. Now back to r slash ask reddit where Scarlett J asks, what's a short clean joke that gets a laugh every time? Mexican magician says he will disappear on the count of three. He says uno dos poof. He disappears without a tress. I have a Polish friend who's a sound technician. Oh, and a check one too, check one too, check one too. Have you heard of Murphy's Law? Yes, anything can go wrong, will go wrong. What about Cole's Law? No. Is a thin sliced cabbage dripped in mayonnaise and sour cream? You suck! A woman walks into a library and asks if they had any books about paranoia. Librarian. They're right behind you. The other day, my wife asked me to pass her lipstick, but I accidentally passed her a glue stick. She still isn't talking to me. How does a rabbi make his coffee? He brews it. Dr. Frankenstein entered a bodybuilding contest. Upon arrival, he realised he misunderstood the objective. How can you spot a blind man at a nude beach? It isn't hard. I've been told I'm condescending. That means I talk down to people. It's hard to explain puns to kleptomaniacs because they always take things literally. Why could the lifeguard not save the hippie? He was too far out, man. Communism jokes aren't funny unless everyone gets them. What did the pirate say when he turned 80 years old? I am 80. My wife told me I had to stop acting like a flamingo, so I had to put my foot down. What do the movies Titanic and The Sixth Sense have in common? I see dead people. I used to be addicted to soap, but now I'm clean. People say I'm addicted to brake fluid, but I can stop any time I want. I used to be addicted to the hokey pokey, but I turned myself around. I used to be addicted to dressing like a nun, but I got out of the habit. So what if I don't know what Armageddon means? It's not the end of the world. Have you heard about these new corduroy pillows? They're making headlines. Boo! I bought my friend an elephant for his room. He said, thanks. I said, don't mention it. Backstage. Okay, some of these may have got a laugh, but some also got a pretty big groan. What other types of jokes tend to get a groan? Of course, the dad joke. So I went over to r slash dad jokes and found these ones. How did the farmer find his wife? He tracked her down. In college, I was so broke I couldn't afford the electricity bill. Those were the darkest days of my life. Why did the sushi chef refuse to serve the magician? Because he was out of tuna. A ham sandwich walks into a bar and orders a beer. Bartender says, we don't serve food here. Hey, did you hear about the actor who fell through the floorboards? He was just going through a stage. What did the green grape say to the purple grape? Breathe, damn it, breathe! What do baby mathematicians drink? Formula. What did the drummer call his twin daughters? Anna one, Anna two. There's two goldfish in a tank. One asks the other, you know how to drive this thing? What's a forklift? Food usually. As a globe restorer, I never turn down projects where I have to fill in missing countries or islands, but missing equators? That's where I draw the line. Tried a new item on the menu, pelican burger. It was great, but the bill was enormous. What part of your body would you get rid of? My spine, it holds me back. I tried to organise a professional hide and seek tournament, but it was a complete failure. 
Good players are hard to find. I went to the beekeeper to get 12 bees. He counted them out and gave me 13. Sir, you gave me one extra. That's a freebie. Where do you take someone injured in a peekaboo accident? To the ICU? The internet connection in my farm is really sketchy, so I moved the modem to the barn. Now I have stable Wi-Fi. A few years ago on my 18th birthday, I lost both of my kidneys. But it's all good, because now I have adult knees. <laughs> I accidentally smashed a window recently. It was a pain to replace. I took my wife to an orchard for her birthday and we stood there looking at the trees for about 30 minutes. Not the apple watch she was expecting, apparently. Keeping tropical fish at home can have a calming effect on the brain due to all the endorphins. What do you call several Barbie dolls waiting in line? Barbecue. I know a guy, Jack, who can talk to vegetables. Jack and the beans talk. Jeannie, I will grant you three wishes. Man, I want to be rich. Jeannie, what is your second wish, Rich? What's the best way to cook alligator? In a crock pot. I caught my son trying a half hitch on my new Rolex. I thought, not on my watch. <laughs> is this thing on? What do vegan zombies eat? Brains. What do you call 60 minutes of pain? An hour. I had a happy childhood. Dad would roll me down the hill in a tyre. Those were good years. What kind of music frightens balloons? Pop music. My landlord texted saying we need to meet up and talk about how high my heating bill is. I replied back, sure, my door is always open. What's your favourite clean joke? Please share it down in the comments. I'll start. Mine is, what is yellow on the outside and grey on the inside? An elephant disguised as a banana. Now back to r slash drunk or a kid. So who was the person who drew on their girlfriend's legs? It was... A kid. I was three years old. I would always play with one of the girls at daycare and parents joked about her being my girlfriend. One time we were hiding in some room and I snuck out of the room grabbed some permanent markers and snuck in, which I then drew all over her legs and we soon passed out from the fumes. Hmm. Sounds fishy to me that there would have been fumy permanent markers in reach of little children, but okay. Thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed what you've heard, please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss any of the daily content from Emma Reads Reddit. See you tomorrow!